My grandmother, Krishtaka, never went to school, so she could not read. Every Wednesday, the magazine would come, and I would read the next episode of this story to her. During that time, she would forget all her work and listen with the greatest concentration. Later, she could repeat the entire text by heart. My grandmother, too, never went to Kashi, and she identified herself with the novel's protagonist. So, more than anybody else, she was the one most interested in knowing what happened next in the story and used to insist that I read the serial out to her. After hearing what happened next in Kashi Yatre, she would join her friends at the temple courtyard, where we children would also gather to play hide-and-seek. She would discuss the latest episode with her friends. At that time, I never understood why there was so much of debate about the story. Once, I went for a wedding with my cousins to the neighboring village. In those days, a wedding was a great event. We children enjoyed ourselves thoroughly. We would eat and play endlessly, savoring the freedom because all the elders were busy. I went for a couple of days, but ended up staying there for a week. When I came back to my village, I saw my grandmother in tears. I was surprised, for I had never seen her cry even in the most difficult situations. What had happened? I was worried. Ava, is everything all right? Are you okay? I used to call her Ava, which means mother in the Kannada spoken in North Karnataka. She nodded, but did not reply. I did not understand and forgot about it. In the night, after dinner, we were sleeping in the open terrace of the house. It was a summer night, and there was a full moon. Ava came and sat next to me. Her affectionate hands touched my forehead. I realized she wanted to speak. I asked her, What is the matter? When I was a young girl, I lost my mother. There was nobody to look after and guide me. My father was a busy man and got married again. In those days, people never considered education essential for girls. So I never went to school. I got married very young and had children. I became very busy. Later, I had grandchildren and always felt so much happiness in cooking and feeding all of you. At times, I used to regret not going to school. So I made sure that my children and grandchildren studied well. I could not understand why my 62-year-old grandmother was telling me, a 12-year-old, the story of her life in the middle of the night. But I knew I loved her immensely, and there had to be some reason why she was talking to me. I looked at her face. It was unhappy, and her eyes were filled with tears. She was a good-looking lady, who was usually always smiling. Even today, I cannot forget the worried expression on her face. I leaned forward and held her hand. Ava, don't cry. What is the matter? Can I help you in any way? Yes, I need your help. You know, when you were away, Karmavira came as usual. I opened the magazine. I saw the picture that accompanies the story of Kashi Yatre and I could not understand anything that was written. Many times I rubbed my hands over the pages, wishing they could understand what was written. But I knew it was not possible. If only I was educated enough. I waited eagerly for you to return. I felt you would come early and read for me. I even thought of going to the village and asking you to read for me. I could have asked somebody in this village, but I was too embarrassed to do so. I felt so very dependent and helpless. We are well off, 
But what use is money when I cannot be independent? I did not know what to answer. Ava continued, I have decided. I want to learn the Kannada alphabet from tomorrow onwards. I will work very hard. I will keep Saraswati Puja Day during the Sara as the deadline. That day I should be able to read a novel on my own. I want to be independent. I saw the determination on her face. Yet, I laughed at her. Ava, at this age of 62, you want to learn the alphabet? All your hair is grey. Your hands are wrinkled. You wear spectacles and you work so much in the kitchen. Childishly, I made fun of the old lady. But she just smiled. For a good cause, if you are determined, you can overcome any obstacle. I will work harder than anybody, but I will do it. For learning, there is no age bar. The next day onwards, I started my tuition. Ava was a wonderful student. The amount of homework she did was amazing. She would read, repeat, write and recite. I was her only teacher and she was my first student.